Getting out of bed or out of the chair isn't like it used to be. The knee is stiff and needs a couple of minutes or steps to get moving. And next up is the climb downstairs. You climb down the stairs and your cracking knees are painful. These symptoms can be signs for possible knee arthritis. Only having a knee that cracks usually doesn't mean anything. But if the knee is painful, swells up sometimes, is stiff in the morning and you're over 50 years old, there is a chance that you're having knee arthritis. And today, I'll talk about what knee arthritis is, what signs to look for, and what you should do, and what you shouldn't do with knee arthritis. Hi, and welcome to your Fisiota Online. I'm Arjan. When we get older, our whole body starts to degrade. And that means that the wear and tear of our tissue is bigger than the production of new tissue. And that's okay because humanity did this for millions of years. But there are chances that this wear and tear is causing problems and discomfort. If the cartilage of your knee is degrading, you can have complaints in your knee. And just like our previous explainer videos, I used the word can because there are a lot of people who have some sort of cartilage defect or degradation of their knee without having symptoms. Some even have bone to bone without pain. So an x-ray showing a decrease in cartilage or knee arthritis doesn't mean your knee will be experiencing pain. But what if your knee arthritis is the problem of your knee complaint? What do you feel? Well, like the introduction mentioned, you're probably having pain in your knee. A stiff knee when you get up out of your bed or getting up out of a chair after you sit in it for a couple of minutes. But another sign can be a swelling in your knee. Because of the changes in your knee, your body and capsule of the knee is producing more fluid in your knee. So your knee can swell up. And this can cause a decrease in range of motion in your knee. And this decrease of range of motion is mostly in the last part of your knee flexion. It's like there is a big balloon in your knee while you flex the knee. But there are more signs and symptoms. Other signs and symptoms are a reduced range of motion caused by the changes in your knee. But this reduction in range of motion isn't caused by a swollen joint. But it's caused by changes of the articular surface and capsular changes of the knee. Another sign can be pain at the articular rim of the joint. So if you palpate or touch the articular rim, you can evoke your pain. And other symptoms are crepitations, or in other words, sounds in the knee, aggravation of pain while climbing a stair or doing some heavier activities. And there is a possibility that the knee occasionally locks. So there are a number of signs and symptoms that can cause by knee arthritis. But what can you do about it? Well, years ago, we all thought that knee arthritis is a degeneration pathology, so we should be cautious with it. But the latest research shows that the best treatment for knee arthritis is heavy strength training. Heavy strength training tends to decrease the pain and to delay the moment of needing knee replacement surgery. So you need to do squats with weights, deadlifts with weights, split squats and lunges. No more rehab programs with only 15 to 20 repetitions, but programs with a build up to 8 to 12 repetitions. But how does that work? Well, you need to build up your strength and endurance first before moving on to heavy strength training. And your knee should be quiet. So there shouldn't be a lot of swelling before and after the exercise program. Our online rehab program starts with getting back the trust in your knees. So this phase of getting back your trust consists of some low loading and balance exercises. After this first phase, you move on to more endurance exercises, exercises with a higher number of reps. And after these two phases, three strength phases top it off. Some heavy strength exercises with a mix of balance, imbalance and functionality. All to give you back the control over your life. But how much pain is tolerable? When you're doing heavy strength exercises, there is a chance that you feel pain or discomfort. It's okay to feel some discomfort and even a little bit of pain, especially if the knee doesn't get swollen after the exercises. But if you're having knee arthritis and pain for a longer period of time, so chronic pain, undergoing a lot of pain during your exercises won't be exactly what you want. But why is that? 
In some cases and injuries, you can decrease the pain with a painful stimulus. When your brain is getting a painful stimulus, it sends out a signal to decrease your pain. But does this work in people with knee arthritis? Research has shown that the pain decreasing system doesn't work that well in people with chronic knee arthritis. So having a lot of pain during the exercise won't help you in decreasing your knee pain. Some discomfort and a little bit of pain in your knee is tolerable, but a lot of pain and a possible swelling shouldn't be recommended. Okay, I hope this video helped you in understanding what knee arthritis is and what you can and shouldn't do with knee arthritis. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and send this video to friends and family who are probably having knee arthritis. And if you want to train with our five phase knee arthritis rehab guide, go to our website where you can find our online guide and where you can also book an online consultation for personal and individualized help with our specialized physiotherapist. This was Arjan and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.